Hello, cheer and dance community. I'm Nadej Bovar from Cheer Tumbling Dynamics or Cheer TD. We wanted to bring a topic to your attention that's been getting a lot of buzz. Um, there's been a lot of dialogue um, that we've heard from different coaching segments, and um, which is around athletes being engaged or how to maximize engagement during this time of COVID where social distancing is in place in most states to um, kind of keep the uh, virus from spreading at a faster pace. So one thing we have to remember is most athletes, most athletes are still struggling with a cramped home life um, while they're trying to do their schoolwork where everyone is doing what they normally would do outside of the home, but now they're in the home. So this has to be a very challenging environment to produce any type of productivity and results of any kind. But we know this is even more challenging for youth because they have less of the emotional capacity and the understanding to be able to pivot quickly. Um, so what do we propose and what are some strategies that Cheer TD has seen um, programs successfully implement to kind of keep their teams engaged? Um, I'm going to give you just a few examples and you can utilize them. You can combine them. You can do them all. You can do none of them. Um, maybe you already incorporated some, which is great. So. One thing that we've seen teams do successfully and we recommend is that you schedule weekly Zoom calls if this is allowed for your district. Um, some districts do prohibit this. Uh, so you wanna make sure that you check in with your AD to see that this is allowed and then go ahead and start running those Zoom calls at least once a week with all of your athletes and make sure everybody turns on their cameras and they're not in bed just to kind of get everybody engaged um, in a different way than maybe what they're used to doing throughout the weekday. Um, we also recommend assigning like smaller subset groups from that bigger Zoom call meeting. So say you have a team of 20, maybe creating um, five groups of four and making them meet in addition to even if it's just FaceTime, just to kind of like do an emotional check in. So um, I'm in a mastermind group and when we meet, we do what's called a MAPS check in, which is a mental, emotional physical and spiritual check-in. So with my staff, every week during our staff meeting, that's the first thing we talk about just to make sure that everybody's in the right mental state and that if somebody is in need of help, we can kind of take it from there and address that issue. And then we also um, like to encourage um, the coaches to make the athletes create goals. So maybe once a month in the Zoom call or once every two weeks or once a week, you guys all go around and just choose one goal, nothing too overwhelming. And they have to complete it by the next week. So then throughout the week when they're meeting with their subgroup, their smaller groups, they can help each other attain their goal to then report it again in the larger meeting. Um, something else that we love to do at the end of every service is a positive circle where everybody goes around and gives a person a shout out for something well that they did or just giving them props. Um, kids really, really love this. And it's a way to acknowledge um, that their hard work with one another. And then another thing that we like to think about is to um, uh, hop on a live class together as a group. So maybe, you know, like Cheer TD has um, live classes on Mondays, Tuesdays, uh, Fridays and Saturdays at 12 and then at five and at three. So if you guys all hop on together, then you can check in, you can say hi to each other in the live stream, just to make sure that everybody is there and checked in. And then afterwards have a meeting where you kind of talk about what that is. So our class, we have the fun one, that's the hip hop class where you learn a full uh, four eight count dance. Um, it's really fun, the staff, we do it. And then we always have a dialogue afterwards uh, cause we're always talking about how Sean is super bendy. Uh, so it can be anything of any different types of offering that would kind of help um, um, keep you guys giving you something different to do to keep things interesting and then the goal is to stay connected with multiple ways and that way you're making sure that if somebody is going through something that they're not necessarily comfortable sharing with a larger group oftentimes it'll come out in the smaller group setting and so that's just something to keep in mind um, and I know a lot of like our state for instance right now we're not allowed to have any summer contact so we transitioned our camp programming to virtual where all of the classes will be on a daily basis where you'll have um, different things to do as a team and then you'll build your skills so that when you get back into play you can do so knowing that you can do it safely uh, so if you have any other questions for us or any other things that you're struggling with with your teams in terms of engagement or athlete participation uh, feel free to shoot us an email programs plural at cheer td 
uh, dot com. So that's programs at cheertd.com. Um, in the meantime, have a great day and we look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.